So what's going on? Cause like, didn't the moon just a couple days ago set by the time the sun was up? Dude, you don't know your fucking moon phases? You My call cat. yourself a white tail hunt? Yeah. Born and raised for this. They didn't like the sun. See, if those are bucks, we could then just go find them. You know? We're gonna go find some deer. What day is it? September, September 3rd. 3rd. Hagging into a glass and tit we scouted. The moon's going later. down. Wait, like an hour later. An hour later. So we got a little extra sleep, is what we're trying to say. Um, we, did. we just bumped our first mule deer. So a bump and dump, baby. <clears throat> Getting it going early. But headed to the glass and tit. Gonna get put some, put some time in behind the lens. Good spot. But you see what I mean? Because if they're seeking shade, we're not going to be able to see them. They're going to be on our, our side of the hills. They have to talk about that in a podcast. I like podcasts. Yeah, those. Is that a white tail? I thought it looked like one, but no, oh, it's mealy. Got that white butt. Mm -hmm. I'm down to like pick a terrainy muley habitat area to just get to in the morning and watch and class and stuff. Just like pick a different one every morning or whatever. Move around. Hasn't that been the plan? Fuck you. Where are we gonna be tomorrow? Like we, we rarely have the like tomorrow morning muley conversation. You wanna have that right now? Mm-hmm. Let's try some more open cliffy shit with shaded cliff bedding. You into that? <laughs> Dude, that's like, that's some Kyle shit. Dude, you know how we like, we used to do, like how we saw those from the road under that cliff? Like, dude, let's just go, like, we just, let's hunt some of that stuff. Dude, we just need to go with that stuff. Like, let's do that. As if it's just that easy. Like, oh yeah. It's labeled here on the map. <laughs> Did you film anything? Mm-hmm. Oh a lot. Did you? Yeah. I filmed a couple though. What the ones on the radio? Yeah. Do you want me to film or not? <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bucks like water. Bucks like water, oxbows, and cattails. And cattails. The old bump and jump. Works every time. All right, well, hasn't been too many dull moments on this trip. Getting geared up. Met this uh, seasoned hunter for this particular property. Trad bow, full kuyu, no teeth. Colorado boy. Hunting doe, because uh, the state of Colorado is on fire currently. It's burning all of it. Wife said he can hunt an extra day, so he figured he'd uh, steal hunt from the parking lot. I've uh, been coming here seven years, but it's really not any good, he said. Not any good out here. And uh, no bucks. Lots of does. You'll see 40 does, no bucks. Except that one he saw the other day. Little guy, you know, nice little buck. Four-year-old, knobby, big old bases. You know, he just likes to come out here to waste his time, I think. So, you know, we figured we'd do the same. Great day for a hike. It just looks really deery. It's definitely a lot of bedding cover around. Some really big trees in the middle where we're hoping we can get in. I don't know, they look maybe too big. One in the, on the left, on the yeah, inside. Yeah, we might be able to get in there. I think we sticks on that. Either way, we're just gonna kinda get in there and see what The wind feels good too. Feels 
Feels good. <laughs> Let's fucking get in a tree, dude. God. Alright, well we just got back to the truck, um, so <laughs> um, it's a pretty awesome spot we were sitting tonight uh, overlooking that creek bottom and then we had the big old hills rolling up around us. Uh, we saw a few does but not much movement and then right at last light um, we spotted a body up in that the field that we were about level with and it was a nice buck and uh, we had some, some tef technical malfunctions. Um, I think probably sub 40, but it was right at last light and my pins were looking pretty dark. I like didn't feel comfortable trying to pull a shot off, so it was what it was. Shannon said there's no bucks up there, but I just he isn't going far enough, I think. But hey, that's a uh, two out of three evening river bottom hunts that we almost made it happen. So we're on them. Glass and tit. Well, after we saw that buck last night, we weren't really sure how we wanted to spend our morning because we've been trying to glass for muleys. So Nate had the idea we'd just get right back in here in the same property we saw that buck up on a ridge where we might be able to glass up some muleys but also potentially relocate that buck because we think he's been up in the hills behind that, uh, that meadow that he uh, came down into. So far we haven't seen much, but it's a pretty epic spot to be glassing for the morning, so. Putting the glass to work is right. Dude, that's a nice block. They're behind the hill. I doubt I'll be able to see them again. Pulled the camera out too late. The closest, furthest pines. Dude, I think it's a big buck. like a motherfucker holy shit it's definitely a buck it's not that big everyone's late late movement what i tell you i told you i told you i fucking told you Dude, calling shots over here Dude, shit Mule deer doe. I can't see shit without like a rest for this. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Wait. I can only see four for sure. Dude, they're gonna go bed right there. I got the scope on the way. Get it out, man. Seriously, why do we just sit in one spot? Oh, dude, they're digging beds. No way. Yeah, I think so. 
I'm scaring for the front bugs. one in the. Oh, she's digging a bed and she's about to lay down. No way, just bed it down. That's Dude. so fucking cool. So they're still on their feet. Think about creeping up over that edge and Dude, fucking. It's so yeah, the wind's at the back. Damn. Scratched at it pretty hard and then just plopped her ass in there. Wait, is that a buck down at the bottom? Dude, don't move. They're looking at us. It's too funny though. It's like, oh. Shady There's cliff. the stuff that we're looking for. Oh yeah, mule deer. Yeah, I told you, it's just that easy. We had a cool morning, seeing muleys and stuff. And then uh, Cyber Scouting spotted this little marshy spot in an otherwise like thin creek bed. And it's right off the road, so we're actually parked on the road looking at it. But anyway, we thought we'd throw a hunt at it, even though it's right by the road and stuff. But it definitely has a lot of cover, and you definitely can tell the deer are using it. So right now we're just parked, trying to size up what it's actually all about and uh, where we want to sit. There's so many big bucks in there. Yeah. yeah, we can keep it simple and just hang that tree line. Dude, you know what I'm about? You about action? About action. I think we should back up to the other end we have and see what we can see from there. Dude, I think all the bucks are actually better like right off the road. Dude, we're so fucking sick. Just cross that Dude. fence with Fuck these heavy bags. Yeah, so normally, you know, everybody's all about going remote, getting way back there. Last night we were a mile and a half back. We got a spot picked out that's four. You know, we think that too many people have that attitude. You know, they're really missing out. You know, there's some really good spots right next to the road that people are overlooking. Uh, we're, we're thinking that this is one of those spots right by the road. You know, it's really overlooked. So, you know, let's mix things up, give that a shot. at all so we're gonna just ditch the stuff and dive in and blow this whole place out maybe Jacob will jump shoot something so
is for her to hunt in the evening because they can see it coming from so far. So we're trying to beat them back to bed. We got in here relatively clean, probably a little bit later than we should, but the wind also was wrong when we were on our way in and it's kind of switching to the, to the right direction now. So we just got settled in and just broke legal light a few minutes ago. I'm sure it'll work perfect. First try. <laughs> what do you think? First try. Yep. Is that your shoulders? The creaking? Yeah. Just chewing on sticks. Kind of a crooked ass nest, huh? <laughs> Doesn't like that stick, huh? No. Yeah. Dude, he's in no hurry. Just building his nest, chilling. He doesn't care if it's got a little lean to it. You think that stuff blows like attempted nest structure that like fell? Oh yeah, maybe. There's a bunch of ducks over there. I love ducks, dude. Well, if you like ducks, let me tell you. Do I have a spot for you? What would DiGiorno do? I'll tell you what. Infault wouldn't have walked in with the windows back. Um, there's no deer here, I guess. Uh... We didn't see shit. There's a lot of ants and some ducks over in the pond. It's gonna be uh, around a thousand degrees today. Uh, it's apparently gonna be so hot that the grasslands are just gonna light on fire. Is what the was what the app said. Aaron's getting to town. I think we're gonna go nap so we can handle his enthusiasm when he gets here. Uh, I think his plan for the day at peak. 105 degree temperatures is he's just gonna go run a little uh, bump and jump program in the river bottom. Uh, I think we're gonna pass on that and uh, not sure what we're gonna do for the evening yet, but it's gonna be hot today. Rock parties. It's a thousand degrees, so we spend most of the day inside. Uh, we we're trying to get our midday nap in, but Aaron uh, just didn't sleep and sped the whole way to Nebraska, so he woke us up about 30 minutes in, so we're pretty tired. And we pretty much bullshitted about saddles the rest of the day. And he's going out to hunt some creek bottom that we hunted last year, and uh, Nate and I farted around in the truck for a few hours just looking at some other dust hole spots. Ended up back at that spot we were opening day where we saw that eight point and uh, if we're not careful we might end up shooting them. But we're trying to go somewhere else. So we'll see if there's any other bucks down here and if there's not I'm gonna shoot them. Deer. It's like if you look at this spot in the map, it definitely looks like place.
this. Shit, he's coming. He's eating. Yeah, yeah, right. He's eating.
Safari is running. Picturesque spot, lush green oxbow. You stand in there, probably like 60, just staring right at us in the sun, completely unobstructed view to our tree. I was like, you know, of course thought that was it, but he, but he was staring into the sun, so apparently he didn't see us. And he made his way closer, came down. I had him probably at 50, but I wanted the range, and my range finder was still in my bag, and Nate couldn't get his out, and I thought Nate was going to get a shot, so he got his release out, and I was going to pass him the bow, and then I was trying to get the quiver in a place we weren't going to knock it out of the tree. It was madness, mayhem, and eventually he circled around and got our wind, and he was not pumped, so he's he's out of here. He's a cool buck. I, it's the first time I've ever snort we said that buck. I'm wondering if that wasn't what made him decide to circle. But I guess it was worth a try. I could have taken a, probably a 50, but my bow would have been in the branches of the tree. I think I could have done it. Like I could have had the like the stabilizer and the limb probably would have been in some twigs. But I was gonna say limb smacking, dude. Limb smacking for sure. But I, I could have tried it. I could have ro rose up probably enough. If he would have milled around a little longer, I would have been like, dude, you gotta fucking try it, cause. He was quartered away and I had another 52. If we'd been in a little sooner, we would at least probably would have shot at that deer. And now the wind picked up and we got a couple of does on the other side of us, but it's exciting. I'm pretty nervous that there's probably like other deer in the box right this way that we just can't fucking see. I'm like afraid to move. Yeah, let's settle down and shoot another one. Alright, maybe the big one just hasn't come out yet. 